this project has been way more challenging than I expected. Between getting back into the gym, working a day job, freelance, finding more freelance work, doom scrolling, creating content, and streaming way, way too much. Staying on track has been a moving target. But I've set some parameters for myself, some, some rules that I'll be sharing with you by the end of this video. And these rules are to help me stay more focused on this major project that I committed to. The project that I'm talking about is following the recipe. Following the recipe is a series where I'll be going out to capture photos using custom Fujifilm recipes that I'll be sharing my experience on. First video is still under production, will be coming out soon. For the month of September, I've been shooting with the Fujifilm X100F, great camera. This is two versions before the X106. This is not the X106, same body, doesn't have as much capabilities, but this camera does what I need, did not see the need to upgrade. So sticking with the X100F, older camera, can't complain about it. The recipe I'm using is hi-hats. I plan to release this recipe back in August, but life got in the way, things got a bit busy, did not release it then, but I'm currently working on the set that I'll be using. So then when I go through and explain why I'm using this, using this recipe, what I noticed when using it, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, and how to improve it, all of that, still working on it, still working on that set. Planning on releasing the blog and the video soon, so do stay tuned for that. Now for the real struggle, committing to this project. The distractions I mentioned earlier, like work, gym, doom scrolling, freelancing, they have made committing to this project tough. In addition to working on general videos, like for instance, one big piece is setting up and breaking down all of the camera gear to record my general videos, which I also use for freelance work. So I don't have that spare camera that I can set up and leave set up and just have that camera come to. I don't have that, so, which I, I think as I'm saying it out loud, it, it sounds like an excuse. And the next thing I wanna say is also gonna to contribute to being an excuse, but it has hard, but it has honestly, what am I trying to say? Getting out has honestly been harder than I expected with fluctuating energy levels and motivation. And that's a whole other topic that I can't get into. The fluctuation of energy and motivation. I feel like they go hand in hand. If you wanna learn or you wanna hear my opinion on what I mean by that, let me know down in the comments and then I'll elaborate. And now on to major distractions like doom scrolling and streaming movies. Like, I wouldn't say that they are a waste of time. They serve a purpose. And that purpose is when you are just like depleted. Like when you have no energy at all whatsoever and you just wanna enjoy a movie. Like you, you, I mean, you can say, let's go journal. Let's read a book. Let's go to the gym. I'm already going to the gym. I do journal and I do read books, mostly for work, not for fun. But I do majority of those things that they say you should do instead of streaming. But I do like to watch a good movie. So I'm not going to cut that out, but I can cut down on it. And it is a major distraction. But on top of that, when it comes to doom scrolling, one major thing that contributes to do streamers for me, doom scrolling for me, is the release of new content. Whenever there's a new something coming out, like I'm watching it, like hands down. I don't care. I'm watching it. I want to know what it is, what it's about. I want to know what it does differently and whether I want to get it. I mean, although it's nice to see it, I'm, all, I'm, I'm big into tech. I love tech. But on the other side of that, when I look at those videos and I see those new microphones and I see the new cameras and the new lights and it's like... What I have is now obsolete. My things don't matter anymore. So now I should go get those things, but I can't. So that also you know, incorporates into <laughs> motivation and burnout. Like I'm honestly burned out on watching all of those videos about new gear that's coming out. I do want new gear regardless if I find out that it's coming out on YouTube or if I walk in the camera store and I see it. I'm kind of tired of watching all the content constantly about new content. But also, all in all, when it comes to that fear of missing out on the new things that are coming out and whether I can contribute to that experience, I'm not in a rush to upgrade, though I would like, you know, to test out the new camera. But I'm, I, I, I do enjoy what I have. And I also want to make the most of what I have because I'm really not in a rush to upgrade. Even if I were to get a chance to use 
some of that stuff unless it can really speed up my workflow in a way that the gear that I do have can. Uh, I really don't see the need to get it either way. But I still like new tech, just like just just as any other any other camera person or tech person out there. You want the new things. You want to test it out and see what's what innovations are happening uh, on a daily basis at this point. So to get back on track, I'm setting some rules, some parameters for myself, and I have three of them. First one is to downsize the memory card on the camera from a 64 gigabyte to a 16 or 32 gigabyte memory card because I have photos on this same memory card from February of 2024 that I need to get off. I have basically personal work and client work on this memory card and I need to wipe this memory card and take off the photos that I've already captured for this set. So the first one is to downsize the memory card and basically I want to shoot like I'm shooting with a film camera with only a set number of shots that aren't that many. Number two is to be more intentional with what I shoot. That means that I'm putting more thought into what I want to capture. That could be finding inspiration online. That could be finding inspiration as I walk around and see things when I'm not shooting, but actually just being intentional and paying attention to what's happening around me. That will definitely help with the doom scrolling. Third is to actually plan out the shoot. So once I'm paying attention and being more intentional, I'm also either taking notes or just coming up with some ideas on the fly that may just be those passing ideas that you don't really want to stick with, but they just kind of inspire something else, the, the thing that you're actually trying to get to, just to plan out what I'm actually doing instead of going out and shooting because I have an hour or two to shoot and not really know what I'm shooting and just kind of just shoot random stuff. Now, all of this will help me in the end, especially when it comes to motivation, reducing the amount of doom scrolling, reducing the streaming. The gym, I won't cut out. I'm liking going to the gym. It's boosting energy. I feel better. When it comes to my day job, I just might quit that. I just might. I haven't fully decided, but I just might. Freelance work is not going anywhere. Always looking for more freelance work, photography work, videography work, editing work. Always looking for more work. Hit me up down in the description if you do need work. Done. But if you want to learn more about hi-hats, this recipe that I'm currently shooting with, following the recipe, the series I'm currently working on, or any other things that I am working on, leave a comment. Or you can just subscribe to the newsletter. Link is down in the description. While you're down there, I want you to stay awesome because you are an awesome person. Don't let anyone tell you any different. I'll see you in the next one. Stay awesome.